What's poppin'? All right, fam. All right, Bob checking in here. And today we have a lot to discuss. Now let's jump right into it. First off, salute the notification game, hitting that like button before the video even starts. Y'all the real art fam. Salute. Anyway, up first, we got the game. Your nigga sat there and watched you get robbed. You left the club, called my phone, said, Game, big bro, somebody robbed me. Can you help me get my chains back? I told your fat ass that I will fucking see what I can do. According to TMZ, the game showed up to court that they expected to stand trial for slugging the off-duty officer. Game's criminal assault trial for punching the LAPD officer in March 2015 was scheduled to start today, but the case was postponed. As for the fight that landed him in court, Game already lost the civil case and was ordered to pay 100k. The new criminal trial date is set for next month. The game must feel like the weight of the world off his shoulders, man. Now, right after that, the game said it's now time to focus on what's more important to the world. Big Soldier versus Chris Brown. He said he got front row seats. He also said he honestly don't know who he been on yet. It seems like he leaning toward Chris Brown. Anyway, salute to the game. Up next, we got Mike Tyson. Now, Mike Tyson responded to Soldier Ball earlier. So it's confirmed. I just got off the phone with Frenchie and Chris Brown. I'm training Chris. He chose me as a trainer to take on Soldier Boy. And Soldier Boy, what the fuck are you talking about? Only thing I'm going to teach him is to bite somebody in the ear. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to teach him every dirty trick in the book to knock you out. Because I'm not going to teach him how to run. Did y'all hear that Floyd this at the end? He said he's not going to teach Chris Brown how to run, man. Mike Tyson wasn't done dissing yet, bro. He dissed that boy Big Soldier in the booth. Check this out. If you show up, it's going down. I'm going to teach him how to knock your ass out. These fools that got Mike Tyson in the booth, bro. This whole Soldier Boy and Chris Brown situation that been pure entertainment, fam. If it was real violent and all that type of stuff, real beef, I wouldn't even be promoting it, man. But this is pure entertainment. Comment down below. What do you think about that snippet of Mike Tyson? Should he stick to boxing or stay in the booth? Let me know in the comment section down below. Up next, we got FBG Duck and Ewall. I'm Ewall Samuel, but I'm not a rapper. I'm a street nigga. Don't fucking play with me, all right? Keep my name out your mouth. I ain't never say your name. Keep reckless renegade out of your mouth. Yeah. Everybody's trying to be on this Soldier Boy versus Chris Brown card. FBG Duck took the tour and they said, I beat the fuck out of any rapper who want to fight. And I mean any rapper that go for all y'all bitch ass niggas. Big clout money, bully. So everybody started tagging Ewall. Then he tagged Ewall. He said, the fans tag you now. You know you my boy too, but whoever they tag, I'm going to tag. And yes, I beat that ass in the ring too, bully. So Ewall responded today with a video. So I've been out of town and the people keep tagging me. And all this crazy uh, shit with this bad duck, man. Fuck it, man. That's what y'all want. Fuck y'all go get out the fuck y'all want. He won't. Hey, duck. FBG duck. I'm officially calling you out in the fucking ring, man. Go get your boxing gloves, your fucking face mask, your mouth guard, whatever the fuck you need to get, get it, man. It's time to show these people what it's really to this shit, man. You hear me? We're going to get two bullies on the dime. We're going to get two Chicago bullies for real, for real on the line. And we're going to get it on for y'all. But y'all got to come with that bag, baby. So somebody go tag Chris Brown, Soldier Boy, 50 Cent, Floyd Mayweather, fuck you, God damn it, Don King Promotions, Mike Tyson, tag all of that. And let them know, he won't, he won't. He's officially called the duck out. And I want him on the same fucking ticket as Chris Brown and Soldier Boy. That's the only way we're going to do it. We got to be on the same ticket as Chris Brown and Soldier Boy. Straight like that. Gang shit. Duck, get up with me. Comment down below. Should E Wall FBG Duck be the substitute for 22 Savage or 21 Savage? Also, who would win that fight? Let me know in the comment section down below. Up next, we got Coley P, who got crazy buzz coming out of Florida, and we got John Wick for Sniper Game. Now, they got it to a little altercation there on IG. Check this out. Yo, it's your boy Coley P. You know me, I just been sitting back, I ain't really been saying much, you know, but. I just got tagged into a video with a nigga named John Wicks. Um, John Wicks, 1K, talking about Cody Luther King, fuck you and all that dumb, man. Listen, man, I ain't no internet type nigga, bro. I done seen you in the club plenty of time, bro. We dap up and whatever. I thought everything 1K, we were cool, but I see you done made a video to my Cody, fuck you. Man, what's up, cuz? Man, don't sell your soul for no Instagram, man. I'm in the hood, bro. If it's fuck me, bro, you already know what, what time it is, bro. Beef is a contact sport, man. I don't beef over no internet, man. I don't got no beef with nobody, bro. But if it's fuck me, bro, fuck you, bro. At the same time, bro, real nigga do real thing. Everything 1K like two weeks ago. Now niggas who ain't never made no noise making noise now, bro. Come on, man. Keep that shit real, man. Man! Soon as I saw what was going on, I said, oh, man, somebody need to step in. Now that Chris Brown and Soldier Boy beef, 
that's pure entertainment it's not real beef this is real street beef here that was going on and it could have got taken to a level that nobody want to see it get taken to now both of these guys from the same area they got a chance to continue to get money and to secure the bag not only for themselves but their homies as well so their homies don't have to risk their life to feed their family going out here doing all kind of street stuff so anyway two hours later he posted on ig he said hood politics anybody can be but it's only free we can come to an understanding so the beef is squashed man i'm glad these guys squashed it before it got too late both y'all continue to get bread anytime y'all see me speak on real beef real street beef i'm gonna always try to squash it because i know where it can go man i don't want to see any of these guys lose their life but if it's some fake beef it's pure entertainment we're gonna roast it we're gonna laugh at it we're gonna have fun with it man anyway i'm about to be out of here sub to the channel if you haven't press that sub button also press that bell beside it so you get a notification anytime drop video follow me on twitter link is in the description follow me on ig at relatable Outball. we on that 100k grind salute to anybody grinding man especially if you're coming from the bottom bro i'm grinding out of the public housing fam so no excuses. Don't let your circumstances hinder you. Let it motivate you, man. You can grind and get yourself up out of anything, bro. Major salute to y'all. I'm out of here. Oh.